In recent episodes here on Something Amazing, we've been covering a lot of budget, high quality gear to get your stream up and running. And in today's episode, that's no different. Where we're going to be doing another audio segment and taking a look at the Five Fine, Fee Fine, Fifini, not entirely sure how it's pronounced, but the T669 kit, which is a great budget condenser microphone. Let's get into it. We've covered condenser microphones here on the channel in the past in the form of the M-Audio Black Nova condenser microphone. If you haven't checked that video out, I will link it at the end of this video so you can check it out, which is a great pro studio condenser microphone. But we were looking for another condenser microphone that we could use for streaming to improve our audio in the stream. And there's nothing wrong with the headset mic, but a condenser microphone is going to give you much, a much deeper, higher quality sound. Also, we're going to be redesigning this space, as I mentioned in the live streams, where we're going to do podcasting in the future. So we needed a second microphone for an interview type of style, or if there's more than one person on the stream or the podcast. And that's where we came across the Fifine T669. This obviously, is a similar microphone to the very infamous and well-known budget uh, condenser microphone being the K669B from Fifine themselves, but this comes as a complete kit. So firstly, what we're gonna be doing is an unboxing of this microphone, followed by an audio test, and I'll put timestamps in the description box down below so you can skip ahead or go to the point of the video that you'd like to check out. Taking a look at the packaging, um, it's quite simple. It's just a plain brown cardboard box with the Five Fine Technology logo on the front, probably to reduce costs. And on the inside, well, as soon as you open it, the first thing you met with is the user's guide. The first thing on the top is a pop filter. Let's just remove this packaging. So this pop filter seems like really, really good quality. It's got a clamp, obviously, to clamp onto uh, a stand, a mic stand, or any other stand. And yeah, it looks really good. Seems like it has a double layer uh, of woven material. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty awesome that this comes in the kit. I mean, if you look at pop filters, like the ones we have used in the past, like the on-stage ones, um, they usually come in at around 300 bucks alone. Removing the top foam cover, the first thing we have here is a, another uh, band or replacement band for the shock mount and also another rubber pad uh, to replace on the inside of the grip of the um, pop filter. Uh, as you mentioned, this does come with a shock mount pretty solid mostly made out of plastic but has a brass fitting on the inside here uh, you get a foam um, filter which is probably what we're going to be using a lot when we're streaming um, because you can't have the pop filter taking up most of the camera space we've uh, got a nice solid but non-braided uh, USB cable. Um, the fittings seem pretty good. Uh, seems like high quality fittings, but it's not gold plated. Um, on this end, it also comes with a tripod mount. So if you don't want to use the mic on the scissor boom arm, um, you can just mount it up uh, and leave it standing on your table. Um, you get a clamp. Uh, this will clamp obviously to your desk. Uh, let's just open this up a bit. It has a rubber grip 
on the one side on the other side it just has a metal piece it would have been nice if there was <clears throat> a rubber mat on this metal piece as well so you wouldn't damage the underneath of your desk and then the <coughs> scissor boom arm um, with another brass fitting thread fitting on the end here it's fully adjustable and you can loosen and tighten the different joints so that uh, you can put it in the position that you want it to be in the microphone itself and then here's the five fine cardioid condenser microphone it's pretty solid made out of all metal also another brass fitting on the inside here um, and yeah that's just it okay so first we're going to be testing out uh, the audio quality of the microphone we haven't done any uh, vocal adjustments or equalizations uh, we're about the appropriate distance away from the mic which should be around 5 to 15 centimeters uh, this is a cardioid uh, polar pattern type of microphone uh, there's no filters on it yet so we uh, obviously it's going to pick up your plosives um, which will have a popping sound. So your P's and B's uh, <clears throat> will usually have that, as they say, an exploding type of sound. So pop goes the weasel. Obviously, the further you move away from the microphone, <clears throat> the less you're going to hear those bass tones. And obviously, as I get very close up to the microphone, you're going to hear those bass tones quite loud. Uh, we've got the gain set at around the 25% mark. And in Windows, uh, we have the level set at around 60%. Um, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, we've done no adjustments to the sound at all as yet. Um, tell me what you think of the sound in the comments section. Um, uh, one downside to this microphone is there is no mute button on the microphone, but you've got full uh, adjustment uh, control of the gain. Uh, obviously, you don't want the gain in too loud uh, because once you start putting the levels up on the microphone and within Windows, uh, you're going to start getting those uh, mouse clicks and keyboard sounds and also picking up sounds in your ambient environment like your case fans on your PC, etc. Um, <clears throat> the benefit of having the scissor arm is that you can have the microphone close up towards your mouth and also away from the desk because if it were on a tripod on the desk, it would most definitely pick up your keyboard sounds, especially on these mechanical type of keyboards and your mouse clicks, which can be disturbing for your audio, especially if you're using it for streaming while gaming. Um, so the next test we're going to do, we're going to put on the foam wind filter because without the wind filter, you would hear breath sounds. I, I usually speak with a lisp, so you'll hear all my breath sounds and we're going to see what difference it makes with the foam filter on. Okay, so now we've got the sponge or foam uh, wind filter uh, on the microphone. This is usually the setup we're going to be using while gaming because if you have the pop filter on, um, it would obviously obstruct a lot of uh, the subject's face. Um, yeah, like I was just to compare, um, this is how I speak. I do have a lisp, and obviously, the breath sounds are going to be a bit more muffled. Um, with regards to your plosives, you will still get that popping sound, uh, but it's not as bad uh, when exposed or speaking into the bare microphone. And if you're wondering, yes, uh, we are using the Osdom AF640 webcam while recording this footage, uh, which was one of the last episodes uh, we did on the channel but it will be linked at the end of the video if you'd like to check that out as well. Great, great budget, high quality webcam. And now for the last test, uh, we've got the pop filter in front of the um, bare microphone. So once again to test, pop, 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 pop goes the weasel, 
Popcorn, love popcorn. Um, this dual layer uh, pop filter is going to actually get rid of those plosive sounds that give you that burst, uh, which can be disturbing to the audience so that's listening in uh, to um, the audio stream, whether it be a podcast or you're using it for live streaming or whatever, uh, recording a video like this as well. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are. Um, um, obviously, there's a lot of versatility within this kit. It comes with everything. Um, like I mentioned in the unboxing part, these filters usually sell for around two to three hundred bucks, these high quality double layer filters. Um, <clears throat> I hit the microphone in my hand there. Uh, but yeah, so it's it's actually a great deal. Now, if you compare this microphone to another very, very uh, good microphone that comes from Five Fine, which is the K699B, it's been rated one of the best budget microphones out there on the market. Uh, the advantage of this kit, which only costs around 150 Rand more, is that you're getting the scissor arm, you're getting the pop filter, you're getting the windscreen. Um, the other one, the K669B, comes only with the tripod desk stand, which we discuss the disadvantages of using one of those. And also, it doesn't have a detachable USB cable. So it's a permanently connected USB cable, whereas this is detachable. So if the cable get, does get damaged, it can be replaced in the future. Let me know what your thoughts are. Comment in the comment section. Which one sounds the best? The bare microphone, the wind filter, or the one with the pop filter? So, this microphone kit is by far no means the best microphone you can get out there for streaming or for audio streaming or for podcasting. I think that title goes out to the Shure SBM7. But if you have to look at the price of that microphone, it's, it's actually priced at a ridiculous cost. Um, and it's not going to be affordable for most people's budgets out there. Additionally, this microphone comes fully kitted. So you're getting the sponge uh, windscreen, you're getting the pop filter, you're getting the shock mount, and you're getting the scissor boom arm. Now individually, if you have to buy all these accessories, that also additionally adds a lot to the cost of your microphone setup. With this kit coming in at eight to 900 Rand, it's really a no brainer. And the audio quality, is good enough for any stream or podcast out there. Additionally, with this microphone as well, it's a straight plug and play USB. You don't need to download any drivers. You just plug into your USB port on your PC and it's picked up immediately and it can be used on the go. There is no need for a secondary sound card or a DAC system to run this microphone. So. Personally, I feel that this was actually a great buy. Let me know what your thoughts are. What are your comments? Would this make you consider getting one of these microphones? Please comment in the comment section down below and engage with us. I'd really like to know what you think out there. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to the channel for more great videos like this in the future. And please follow us at all our socials. That's where we're usually posing, posting stories and updates with, with regards to what's happening with the channel. And we'll catch you in the next one.